Hey guys, welcome to my newest video for today, March 3rd. Uh, and in this video, I'm finally going to be showing off my Fright Rag t-shirts. I've got a bunch, um, but I'm also going to show off the other stuff I've gotten. I got the um, Necronomicon, I know I said that wrong, the Evil Dead book, the uh, notebook from Fright Rags on the way, but I didn't want to wait. But uh, I'm going to show you some of the other stuff I got first. I got, I do have a couple pairs of socks, not a lot. First pair I got are the uh, Halloween trick-or-treat ones. Actually, let me turn the light on so we can actually see. <laughs> yeah, I like these. like these. I usually wear them when I'm going to bed. I like them because I can't wear them out because they're so slippery. So those are actually the ones I'm wearing now. Then I also have the Krumpus pair. These kinds of, they're kind of goofy actually, but I like them. They're really neat. So I don't know if I'll get any more. I got another pair, but I don't know if I'm going to get any more. And kind of obvious I got these ones. The reanimator syringe ones. Like, hello, anybody knows me, I love reanimator. Okay, now I'm going to get started with the shirts. First one off is the newest one to the collection. Uh, gotta, don't want to. And it is my Helltrack Rad t shirt. I was so psyched when Fright Rag said they were going to do a Rad t shirt. I was like, oh! <gasps> must have now <laughs> because it's one of my favorite childhood movies it's still only available on vhs why it's not out on either dvd or blu-ray i don't know but yeah i like this shirt i like the color i like the fact that it's also got the year of the movie and the day it came out and the tagline i love this shirt it's so awesome it's good. so like a non-horror t-shirt now the horror ones these are going to be in no order i have my texas chainsaw massacre shirt so that i like that even though i do have a problem that's me i don't know why i just don't like those sleeves that kind of sleeves i just don't for some reason i'm always pulling and actually you know what maybe it'd be better if i just go like that no that won't do we need light <laughs> But yeah, that's my Texas Chainsaw Massacre shirt. I never had one before. Well, almost all these shirts, I never had one. So, I'll just put that over here for now. Next one up, this is one I, I tend to wear a lot. Critters. I love this Critter shirt. It is so awesome. Because it's one of my favorite horror films. I got to see it as a kid. Like, not in 86, but I think around... 89.90 my mom showed it to me and I absolutely loved it. I thought it was so much fun So I saw that one. I was like, yeah, I have to get the critters one Actually, no, I'm not gonna show the quote Next one up is My Fright Night t-shirt. Yay Love the design on that. I think there was another one. I'm not 100% sure but I like this one because it had Amy and then Peter and Charlie and Jerry. The only thing missing is uh, Evil Ed. And I, but I love this sh this shirt. I think it's awesome. Okay, this one I I know I got a couple of weeks ago, or not a couple of weeks ago. Actually, I can't remember when I got this, but I I saw it and I was like, I have to have it. My reanimator. Herbert West for president when I was like, oh, fuck yeah, I'm getting that one. <laughs> I, love, I love that one. I think I got it the day after election day. I wish I would have got it before and I would have worn it. <laughs> and it's funny, anybody who's not a horror fan would be like, what is that? And I'm like, go watch horror films. Go educate yourself. Next one up is my John Carpenter's Halloween one. I like this, this one. I know they're coming out with more of the baseball tees for Halloween, so see what if I like any of them. Damn. But yeah, I love this picture. The only thing missing on this one is Donald Pleasance, but I love the fact I have a t-shirt with Jamie Lee Curtis on it. So, and Michael Myers. I have another Halloween shirt, uh, but it's somewhere in the pile. But yeah, there's my uh, John Carpenter's Halloween one. This one was a given for me. I mean, shit. The Monster Squad. 
You cannot go wrong with the Monster Squad. I don't know which quote it is. Mine doesn't have a quote. Oh yeah, that's right. But yeah, there's my Fright Night t-shirt. Another one. I wish I kind of had a selfie stick for this in a way. My next one I always, I wear quite a lot. And it's my Reanimator t-shirt. I love this one. This is one of my favorite Reanimator shirt t-shirts that Fright Rags has done. They've done, I think, three or four. I missed out on one. But yeah, I love that shirt. And speaking of Reanimator, another one. And I have this one. It says death is just the beginning. Really good one. I like it. Let's just put this down and spread it out a bit. So that's what it looks like. It almost, if, if you weren't thinking, if it didn't have the cat or Dr. Hill, it almost could look like a Bride of Reanimator t-shirt. But yeah, I like this one too. It's awesome. And this one has the, uh... which quote does this one have? Who's going to believe a talking head, which is like the greatest quote <laughs> from the movie. And then I have a Krumpus one. I like this one. I think it's a sharp one. I actually wore it during Christmas. Everyone's like, why are you wearing that? And I'm like, because I'm 36, I can wear whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> but yeah, I loved Krumpus. It was such a great movie, too. Kind of hard. Which one do I like more, Trick or Treat or Krumpus? I don't know. This, I think, was the very first Fright Rag shirt I got, Halloween 2. Because it's my, out of all the Halloween sequels, it's my favorite. Because I love it. And, but yeah, I, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm 100% sure this was the first Fright Rags t-shirt I got. And now that uh, pile has grown tremendously. Oh, excuse me. But yeah, Halloween 2. I was tempted to get one of the Rob Zombie ones, but I figured I'd get, I'd get hurt if I got those. And then my Evil Dead t-shirt. Yeah, that Evil Dead one. Woke up on... They got up on the wrong side of the grave. It was the one... I don't want to get ones that have too much blood and gore on them. But uh, I was like, oh, I have to have that one. It's my uh, favorite out of the, uh, the Evil Dead collection that Fright Rags has done. So there my go. Go. My little bit of the Evil Dead one. Then the last three here are the baseball t-shirts that I grabbed. The first one is from John Carpenter's The Fog. I like this one. Kind of, kind of spooky looking, but I love The Fog. I think it's one of John Carpenter's most underrated films. So yeah, there we go, The Fog one. And then next up, one that I'm happy to have. My Trick or Treat t-shirt with Sam on the cover. I missed out on a lot of the Sam trick-or-treat shirts, but once this one became available, I think it was new or it was a request reprint one. I The minute it uh, got reprinted and put on the site, I bought it. I was like, oh yeah, I have to have that one. I, got, I like the baseball t-shirts. I think they're really cool, so I can't wait for that Halloween one that's coming up on Monday. And last but certainly not least, this one was the last one I got in the mail before the rad one. And that is my bloody Valentine, the which, yeah, the Ballad of Harry Warden. But I, I love. I could have gotten it all red, but I liked the baseball T-shirt with Harry Warden on the cover and the red sleeves. I really like that one. So I'm not gonna bother going through the cards or the stickers, though. At least with the rad one, I got two that I didn't have. So the, like the last four or five are ones that I have gotten but yeah <laughs> with the exception of the big pile there that's all the fright rags t-shirts i got and this collection will par probably grow because i am nuts about these fright rag shirts particularly the uh, upcoming wax pack for reanimator i am nuts i did spend the 107 dollars and got the complete set so yeah kind of odd reanimator dr strange yeah who cares both awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, that's my Fright Rag, ever growing Fright Rags collection. And, uh, don't know when my next video will be, but, uh, 
probably soon. I'm probably thinking of rearranging my uh, Blu-ray collection a little bit. I want to put the horror films first instead of the action. A lot of big array of books and stuff like that. <laughs> And my epic wall. <laughs> okay, guys, that's I'm going off topic here, but yeah. So yeah, that's the Fright Rag collection. Uh, I hope you all have. And I don't know when I'm gonna go see Logan. I'm hoping soon, but uh, it's uh, we're still kind of stressed out over my grandmother's passing. We're the ones. My dad particularly is the one dealing with uh, that because he was the executor of the will. Um, you know. Well, I, I don't know how, what the word is I'm looking for, but yeah, he, he was appointed as the kind of caretaker stuff, so so stressed out. Um, okay, still going off topic. Okay, guys, <laughs> that is it. Um, I hope you all have a good weekend. Watch a shitload of movies. And of course, as always, rate, comment, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.